tutorial because I know a lot of you guys ask me how I do my eyeliner and I always put excuses because like it's not perfect but I'm gonna try my best so you guys can see my technique and another thing I would get people all the time when my hair was shorter it didn't grow a lot but it does have some length um, how I would do a blowout so I had like some pictures before, super old. This is going on probably a year um, where I had a lot of volume in my hair. So, I mean, my hair is not the same length, but it's still the same technique. So I figured I would show you guys as well. So obviously I'm gonna have my blow dryer on. So I'm just gonna insert like little cl clips of what I do. And then I pause this and now I'm re-recording so I don't know where I left off, but, um, now, I don't section my hair anyway, and I just kind of blow it dry it wherever, so I have the ability to like wear my hair to this side or this side, or it just be flowy and just fall like wherever. But I'm gonna show you, because I'm gonna have my blow dryer on and you guys are not gonna hear me, I'm just gonna show you the little techniques I do. I do this, you do have to roll your brush, roll your brush, so what I would do like in my front part, I usually, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I always have like a split in the middle, but I just come in with the brush and obviously I would have like the blow dryer on and I would just be drying it and then towards the end, just rolling it, rolling it, rolling it, rolling it, rolling it, rolling it, and it'll give you volume. Remember, if I'm doing this motion going up and blow drying like that I'm gonna have volume like it's gonna come up right here obviously if you go back you're gonna have volume like that you come forward it's gonna like your hair is gonna come obviously the way that you are moving so let's get started I should have pulled plugged in my blow dryer oh and this brush I bought at Sally's it's um I Ion, it says anti-freeze, frizz thermal. Um, Thing, and then I just grab pieces and with the brush I just start doing the rolling motion and that's what I did but look at I can move it I could split it let's say right here stays right there if I want this look this look just kind of goes everywhere and you'll see some some spots I have that go out I have some in ones it's just I don't know I just I'm not gonna say it's a healthy way when I do my hair because obviously I'm still applying heat but it just makes my hair look fuller fluffier and yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and do my whole makeup routine and then I'm gonna stop at the eyeliner so I can show you guys and then I'm gonna talk with you guys and I did eyeliner um, I get this request a lot and I get what eyeliner I use this is my all-time favorite I have tried other ones I have used other ones but this one is by the brand Italia deluxe 
and it just says it's matte waterproof but low-key I mean I have like dipped my face in water and came out but it does start start to like break and spread um, and I know some people where it doesn't work for them if they have like oily lids hooded eyes um, so to everyone their own but this is the one I use I have like so many sometimes I leave the wrapper on to know which ones like the newest um, so yeah this is how it looks so I'm gonna try my best to show you guys how I do my eyeliner I don't I'm just using my phone really basic um, but yeah I guess I'm gonna use this um, the camera as my um, so it is a brush it's not like that little sponge tip so I do like to like take off some of the products this is oh I cannot do it like this especially that the camera is like at an angle so let me try this one more time I'm gonna try with my I'm gonna have to do it with my mirror I'm sorry you guys but I usually one thing there's some people when they do their eyeliner they go straight out and then in and there's some people that curve up semi up I go like really up up like I want you to see like the wing that's just what I the style that I like so I'm gonna find the corner of my eyelid and then just go straight up straight up see once I got that part down I literally just like drag it down and then I fill in all the areas just connect everything my daughter is wearing some of my heels be careful don't look like open your eyes because the eyeliner like is still wet i'm surprised i didn't get any touching the top of my eyelid but i'm just filling it in look of my eyeliner with some lashes on so you see how you can like really see it up that's why I like to do it up versus straight I feel like when I do it straight it just doesn't really give me the look that I want my hair I told you guys I did the little blowout and you see how it can kind of just go everywhere but I'm trying to wear it like this just because I don't know just because so so here comes the little chit chat part and then I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of pieces that I bought from Fashion Nova like I said earlier I don't know I might take out earlier's clip or I'm gonna try and like do the least edit uh, editing ever so I might be on here twice but I once was on their PR list I'm no longer on their PR list so this is gonna kind of be like why I've been absent too so I'm no longer on the PR list um, it's been like two years since I've been on their PR list so I've been ordering from them and it like hurts but I guess I'm real I'm normal like you guys so I used to get pieces by them and they would send it to me no shades to Fashion Nova cuz I mean I'm, I'm still buying shit from them you know but um, I would like pick out items and obviously they'll send them to me and it was either too small too big like I'm in between an eight and an eight and a half like I'll order an eight and a half and it'll be too big and like my feet are not so wide and then I'll order an eight and it's like they're like so small so I'm like I give up ordering shoes or when they would send me stuff like I couldn't wear them um, same going with clothing the same thing is I'll order something and it was either too big, too small. I didn't have my boobs back then, which my boobs are not big now, but it's just like, you see all these influencers and like you see their body and you think that that's how it should look. So you just like rather not wear it. That was me. Still kind of me to this day. 
Plus, I'm a very basic person. I wear little tank tops. Let me show you guys. It, my, I'm using my boyfriend's chair, so it's old, so it'll probably make a noise. But this is me, super basic. This is my body. This is what I like to be in. Um, so I don't really get like fancy or anything. But anyways, yeah, so that kind of like pushes me um, away because I feel like now everyone that like did makeup, like they're doing fashion too, which good for them. I'm so proud of them. But, you know, like I'm, I still have like some body issues, you know, like I don't have that BBL, like I'm still squared, you know, I'm, so it's like kind of like how do you outfit that, you know, but I do have some stuff from them. I do have some pieces um, that I would share with you. So that's kind of why I've been absent. Um, I'm still awkward. I know I'm probably looking like everywhere, but um, hmm. So I moved in with my boyfriend and the house needed some remodeling. So we've been remodeling it and that has been like a thing. Um, but like my biggest things, I don't want to put excuses. I feel like if I share this with you guys, maybe you'll know like a little bit more of why I'm like absent or like I don't have as much time, but I am trying to make time for you guys because at the end of the day, there's still people who support me and love me and I'm so grateful for that. But you know, I get intimidated with my age. I don't have the skin like I used to have when I was 25, the eyelids, you know, like you change as you get older so you know i had more flawless skin before and you know when i was starting to get like followers and i don't want to say like oh my god i blew up and i'm like so big because i'm not i'm still average um but i think i should have jumped on this whole like youtube train um like four or five years ago like in the very beginning because now i'm just like i'm older i'm like oh my god does anyone want to see me i'm already old like, like i tell myself yes that's vieja like i have the indentation my my eyelids are getting like a little bit hooded i just noticed my brow is looking different so i'm gonna fix it you guys oh it's bothering me sorry i feel like i need to be a little bit darker over here I made it worse, you guys. Look at because I don't have a mirror in front of me. <laughs> but um, yeah. So I just feel like, oh, that looks so bad. Never again am I gonna use that. Forget about the eyebrow, you guys. I'll fix it later. But you know, with age, I'm like, oh, you know, I'm not like young anymore. I just had a birthday. We are like in September, like fourth or so. Um, I did have a birthday, August 26. I'm 29 years old, so I'm getting pretty old, and I'm just, you know, it pushed me away. I got really intimidated by like everyone else, and I just feel like, you know what? At the end of the day, we age. At the end of the day, there's 29 year olds that still want tips and tricks, and you know. Um, I'm hoping that I can help you guys. Um, I haven't got my lips done. I do overdraw my lips a lot. Um, I've had Botox before, long ago, like two, three times. Um, and it was like, because it was given to me-ish, you know? So I haven't had any fillers. So a lot of that costs money. I don't have money like to spend on things like that and you know just like you know i don't have this fancy background i don't have all this and before that would like push me back a lot and this someone's probably gonna mention it but i was painting it's the same color but i went in i went in with the semi-gloss and then this is like a flat color so of course the camera's picking up the shine um but I'm just, I'm trying for you guys. I really am. So I'm trying to be back on this. I'm trying to show you guys that, you know, you have to start from the bottom. You have to start somewhere. And I just figured I wanted to start like on top with everyone else, but it takes money. 
for the good lighting, for like the good setup, you know, like the great camera. I'm using my phone, which I've mentioned it before in videos. So it all is a work in process. So I guess you guys just gotta work with me and what I have. And if you guys are trying to start a YouTube channel, start one. Just know that you have to be consistent. I haven't been consistent um, with YouTube, with social media. Um, you know, it, it takes a lot. You know, a lot of people always ask me, like, how do you get on PR list? Um, what works for me was hashtags, tagging people, and they reach out to you, and they ask you if you want to be put on their PR list. So, you know, never get up, give up. Like, always tag what you're using, what you're wearing. Like, you never know. Like, you could wake up, and you're featured on someone's page. That's kind of how it happened for me. So... Whoever is starting a channel, a YouTube channel, like, let me know down below. Like, I'll follow you guys. Like, it, it's baby steps. It really is, you know. So, this is me finally going to try. And I'm going to try and not give it my all. But this is what has pushed me back, too. Um, my daughter is three years old. Um, when she was like a year and a half, I noticed she wasn't talking. I reached out and got help. She was doing speech therapy. So I was having someone come to my house once a week, giving her therapy, actually twice a week, giving her therapy. And I kind of went through two different like therapy things because one wasn't working. So like I argued with the people and it was just a horrible experience. So that kind of like set me aside and I don't know if you guys, I'm pretty sure you guys know, Not I'm, I don't wanna say I don't know if you guys know, but I have three kids and my boys are not the same father as my daughter. So I do have a parenting schedule. I do co-parent, take that back, trying to co-parent. Um, you know, so it is a 50-50 custody and it's been like that for, I want to say about six years, going on seven-ish, but didn't officially, officially like start like seriously co-parenting until the other parent decided like I'm going to commit to it, um, probably about five years ago. So in the very beginning... I'm going to try not to get emotional with this, but this is me trying to let you guys know where I've been so you guys don't think I have like excuses, you know, and I'm just lazy. I don't want to show you guys. It's just, um, there has been a lot of roadblocks in my path that I'm trying to like push away and I just want you guys to really know where I have been at and what's going on. So that's why I'm going to share this with you. Um, so you guys can really get to know me. Um, so in the very beginning, well, let me tell you guys why I have 50-50 custody. I'm not a bad mom. At least I, well, I'm not a bad mom. Um, there is worse out there. There is worse. But I was in a toxic relationship with my boy's father and being in the toxic relationship, um, you know, I let it get the best of me and it went from like he was putting a restraining order on me, I was putting a restraining order on him, it came to like a he said, a he said, she said, um, I had my boy's father play a voicemail in court and it was basically me saying mean stuff like nothing like I was gonna harm him um, but just a lot of cuss words and just like things that I was gonna do out of spite and the judge granted him the restraining order but it was like a no negative contact so I had a restraining order on me and I had to take 52 weeks domestic violence um, for a long time I played the victim and was like you know why me it should have not been me you know I, it was him but after taking some classes I realized that I had some negative traits in me Sorry, my daughter came in, so I had to like pause it. So let me, 
I noticed I had like some, I guess, toxic things in me, I guess, um, domestic violence things in me. And I didn't see it before until I took the classes and then I was like, oh my God, it wasn't just a like victim or whatever, you know, like it was me too. So I finally accepted it and took it in. But even after that, I was like determined to get my kids, um, get full custody. So I would try to wait for him to like slip. I would try and like, you know, do these things. I was very, again, petty. And as time went on, it was just dragging me down, taking energy out of me. And, you know, obviously I'm getting older, so I don't want to say I'm fully mature, but I have been maturing. And, you know, at the end of the day, it's the best interest of my kids. And, you know, I remember there would be times where I'll tell my kids, like, is there a home you'd rather be at more? And, you know, this coming from my kids who are nine years old, but they told me this, like, at the age of, like, seven, that, you know, they need time with both of us and when I split with their father it was the kids were around like three so they're used to what's going on they're used to going from one home to another it's sad to say but at the end of the day it's good because they have both of us in their life and before I remember having friends and they had kids and the fathers were absent and I'm like, man, you have all the luck. Like, why couldn't that be me? Like, why couldn't I have a father that didn't care? But I'm happy that my kid's father cares and I'm happy that he's in their life. And, you know, that's not taken away from my boys. And before, I guess you can say I wanted to take away from them. And I just wanted to be petty and I just wanted my kids to myself. And, you know, nothing wrong with being selfish because they're my kids only because, like, it hurt me to see them go. It hurt that I didn't have all the time. It hurt when people would tell me like, oh, and your kids, and then you know, you say, oh, you know, you have 50-50, and you get like some people who don't understand this, and they've had both parents, and they're like, like, what did you do, you know? And so it would eat at me before. So I was like very dark and dark places, um, but, I'm trying to co-parent. It hasn't been the best, but it's getting there, I guess you could say baby steps. Um, it's just hard to co-parent with someone that doesn't want to co-parent, but I want to say in the past couple months, it's kind of seems like this person is co-parenting with me, so it's getting easier. The boys are getting older, so that pushed me back a lot and, you know, I didn't post so much because like if I had my boys obviously I wanted to spend time with my boys because I had them one week on one week off and you know another thing with that like I was just you know in a dark place I was depressed too with you know just sometimes our us being girls we're emotional our minds think a certain way and I used to like sit there and be like, oh, you know, since I don't have my boys all the time and I have my girls all the time, like, are my boys going to see or feel any difference? Like, am I bad that I give more time to my daughter? And, you know, it's just, it's, it's weird. Like, I almost felt guilty that my daughter has me and her father and she doesn't go back and forth and my kids do, but... I'm getting older and I'm getting wiser and this is life and these things happen and I'm not the only one and I won't ever be the only one but that's kind of um, what has set me back um, but like I said things are getting better so I'm hoping that I can now create content for you guys and just be myself and I guess Two, I used to be scared of what to say. I didn't want to get judged. And I feel like my voice is getting raspy. I have a deep voice too, you guys. Sometimes I try to act like cute and like, oh my God, you guys, like I got this. But I have a deep voice, very raspy. Um, but with saying the right things and doing the right things, that's pushed me back too on social media because 
Oh my god, it's bit. I hope it didn't come out on camera. Let me give you guys an example, and I hope it's not a bad one, and I hope no one comes for me. But, you know, I get a lot of people that DM me on Instagram, and I don't have, like, I have followers. I'm not going to say I have, like, so many and I have millions. I don't, but I'll get a lot of people that message me, like, GoFundMe's, and, you know, it's sad to say, but I have family members that have GoFundMe's, and I don't post them, but I'll do my part and I'll send what I can. So when I see GoFundMe's, I'll do the same thing, you know, like you send it to me and I'll help. And sometimes it's like, that's not enough. Like you'll get people and they're like, well, post it on your page and this. And they feel like it's like I'm obligated to do it. And half of the time, these people are not following me. Half of the time, it's like, I don't post it. And I'm like, you know, I'll pray for your family. I donate it. And they're like, well, you can't post it or you're too good. And it's just kind of like, if I were to post all the GoFundMe's, like, my account would be like a GoFundMe account, like, you know, basically posting just GoFundMe's. Um, so it's kind of really hard being an influencer because everyone has an opinion or they want to say you're canceled for saying something. So I guess I've been scared of that. So I know in my videos, I was like, you know what? For now on, on my makeup videos, I'm just going to do the makeup, play music in the background, list the items that I use, and leave it like that. But if I were to just do that, I wouldn't interact with you guys. You guys wouldn't know who I am. I wouldn't know who you guys are. And we wouldn't be able to have a relationship. And I want to have a relationship with you guys. I want you guys to know where I came from you know, what I want and who I am. So that's why I'm just hoping I don't get, I also too was like, well, I'm gonna turn off the comments, but I'm human, I'm a girl. I like the good comments. I like the nice comments. Like, I guess I just gotta delete the bad ones and let them be and that be it. So that's where I've been. That's a little information for me. I try not to get emotional, but those are things that do, that did push me back and I'm trying not to let them. And another thing, some of you guys think I get paid on social media. I get all this money. Um, I don't, I don't get paid on YouTube, at least not yet. The only place that pays me is Frankie Rose and that's if you guys use my discount code other than that like and with Frankie Rose I'll get like $60 like every month or every like two months that's about it so I mean I'm a normal person I have a normal job I work as a receptionist um, and I'm a full-time mom you know before this quarantine I woke up made my boyfriend lunch got ready, got my kids ready, took my kids to school, went to work, worked, picked up my kids, got dinner, came home, made dinner, washed clothes, cleaned up, made sure the kids were all showered, and then it was bedtime for me. So I was busy. The only time that I would have time was like at two, three in the morning. And if that's what I have to do to put content for you guys, I'm gonna do it. So that's where I've been. So I was in the process of editing this video. Well, there wasn't really much to edit and I realized I didn't try any of the outfits. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, I posted them there and I'm still not comfortable with my body. So no Fashion Nova try on haul for you guys. I'm sorry. I guess I need to get a little bit more comfortable with you guys and comfortable with myself to like post that stuff. But I know this video was a little bit weird. I tried my best, you guys. Um, so thank you guys, whoever watched this till the end. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you guys like and subscribe to my channel and let me know what you want to see in my next video and yeah thank you guys
wait I'm gonna try and like because I didn't take a picture today maybe I should move this look at these are the stuff <laughs> and I thought this video was gonna end you see you guys I'm so bad <sighs> you can't see well because my chair is black okay so I didn't take a what is it clip art clip 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 yeah. like I don't even know what it's called anymore I've been gone for so long but basically like the picture so I'm so awkward <laughs> hopefully I find like a nice thing I never smile with tea. This video is gonna be longer just because I like continuing to talk. I guess after, oh, you see me, don't even get me started you guys. Like I watched the video and it wasn't so bad. I mean, I was a little awkward. I was literally thinking about calling this video the um video. I didn't realize how much I was saying um, um, um. So I'll make sure I stop that in my other videos. But after seeing myself, I'm like a little bit hyped to get a little bit comfortable. So this clip is like four hours after I recorded. <laughs> My makeup still kind of looks good. So I guess I'm getting a little bit more comfortable and I have noticed that I'm making more eye contact with my phone. So yes, please, you guys like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.